Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad that you're here. I hope that everyone is having a fantastic weekend. So in previous videos, I've already showed you the Global Land coin purse die and the projects that I made with that as well as the tassel. Well, today I would like to show you, this is the Water Droplets Earring die. And so super cute. So you can make six earrings with this die or any different combination that you would like. So I would head on and made a few. So these are the new big dies that Global Land is carrying. All of the information for these dies will be in the description box. So make sure you check that out. And so these are a few of the combinations that I chose to make for some earrings. And I think that they turned out so cute. So this little tassel here has a layer of foam glitter foam on top and then I put a little Christmas tree on it how cute would that be for Christmas I love the way that it turned out super super easy to cut and then these say boo really really cute and then to put boo on here I did use the ghost breath um, from Target and I just glued it on with some fabric tag and then these I think are super cute as well. So let's see, this one measures about three inches. So these two are the same size. And then this one is also about three inches. And I think that these turned out super cute as well. I mean, I just really love that tassel look on the end. Super cute. And these are probably my favorite. I love some long earrings. And I tried this pair on and I absolutely love it. So these are about four inches long. I really, really like the way that these turned out. Let's talk about the material for a second. This white faux leather material I used is this um, Crafter Square faux leather, and it's from Dollar Tree, so really cool. It had no problems cutting. And then this black faux leather has a really soft side on the other side, and for that, I have this Dollar Tree handbag that I actually cut up. And I actually did purchase this a while back just to do like a leather projects. Didn't know that I would be making earrings. Um, but it definitely came in handy. Went ahead on and cut up like one entire side. And so I still have a good bit of leather left for another project. This iridescent fabric right here came from this. I'm not sure what this material is exactly. Um, wow, that's super reflective. So this material, you can almost like see through it. So that's how thin it is. Um, it's super reflective. It is like a fabric. It said something about like um, maybe polyester on the roll, but you can see that it is a fabric, but it'll tear kind of easily. Anyway, I thought that it would be super cute for some earrings and some other little projects using these big dies. And it seems to be working out pretty well. I mean, like I said, these are my favorites. I'll definitely be wearing these and I think I'll wear these for, um, for Halloween. Super cute. Even though I typically only wear gold earrings this is definitely like my style of earrings like the shape of them and the length of them so i'm definitely going to um rock those though i think they'll be super cute so these were super quick and super easy to just punch the hole in add a jump ring and add your little earring part to it um super super easy it didn't take any time at all to die cut these out they all cut out on the first pass um let me know in the comments which one is your favorite would you rock these for halloween would you rock these for christmas i was thinking about even putting some like maybe red rhinestones or something like that on it but i didn't know like which pattern i wanted them in but i can definitely say that i like the way that they turned out super super easy project would you give these big guys a try? Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. I hope that the rest of your weekend is absolutely amazing. And until next time, see you later. Bye.